Did you spend all that time grinding for AGMs just to get to the point where you have no idea how to configure them properly? Then this video is for you. If you're watching this video, you, you most likely made the same mistake I did, was to load up your AGMs confident you're going to get some kills in the next run, only to realize once you fire them, nothing you can do controls the missiles. That's what we're going to go into here today. Yes, I've got you now. Come on. Oh, oh. What's going on? Wait, something isn't right here. Don't need to feel bad about it guys, we've been there, I'm sure most of us have, but you're here now because you want to learn how to use these things, that's exactly what I'm going to show you. Don't worry, we understand if you've made the same mistake. It's a simple thought, you know, it's a feature in the game, it's probably going to have a simple pre-configured way to use it, but unfortunately it doesn't, at least to my knowledge, but in this video, you're here now and it's my intention to make sure you know how to use them. So that you can go into your tank RB games and just dominate and help you help your team win the battle, okay? So when you're here in the control section, make sure you're in aircraft. Scroll down just a little bit, not much at all, and you'll see these two right here. The your axis for aimed weapons and the pitch axis for aimed weapons. Alright guys, so when we're here, we're going to go into pitch axis to start. Uh, all you have to do is double click it, you'll open this little mini menu. And we have maximum value, minimum value, and then we have invert axis as well. I'm pretty sure that basically just flips whatever you put in there. I imagine that's what it means, invert, you know. But just play around with these now. So if, what I want to do, just to give you an idea, is I want the exact, almost the exact same controls as how I control my plane, which is WASD. However, if I press, if I put W, if I put W here and S here, my plane still has priority. I will control the plane without controlling the rocket. So it's not going to work. However, what we can do to let the game know that this is time to control the rocket and not the plane is we double click on this. I hold Alt and then press W. And then for minimum, um, Alt and S. At least to my knowledge, um, that should be correct. As in if I press Alt and W, the missile should go down. If not, we can just come back to it and flip it. It doesn't really matter, but as long as you have the general idea on how to do this, the maximum and the minimum, press OK. And then your axis. Now, I imagine the maximum is going to say to go right. You know, we can still figure this out. So for me, it's going to be Alt and D. And minimum, Alt and A. And yes, what we're going to do is we're going to go over go into a test battle and see if that works and if there's any if there's any issues like for example uh, it's the wrong keys I gotta flip them I can go back and do that or if there's something wrong with the sensitivity I can go back and adjust that so we're gonna go and see now what we were just left with alright guys so we are now on approach we're gonna go for that little target over there but we're gonna try and fire a little early so we have enough time to play around with the rocket and see what our controls are at so we're gonna thrust down throttle down I should say now I'm going to press R because that's how I fire it. I'm going to hold down Alt and if I press S it goes up and if I press D it goes right. So I've got an idea now as to what my controls are like. So if I fire again, if I press S it goes up, if I press uh, W and this is why I have Alt held down as well. So as you can see, I have a very familiar way of guiding this because if I press W my plane starts looking down. If I press S it starts looking up. So I've used the exact same control scheme except the way I differentiate to the game to let it know which which one I want to control I've put an alt in there so just let, let go of everything hold down alt and then control the missile or the rocket the exact same way that you would control the actual plane itself now just so you know that it's working pretty fine I'm gonna go back and try and kill two of these bolts okay we're gonna do this and you can fire pretty far away it all depends on how you can make those fine fine little movements at a distance but you can see the rocket glowing in the distance and as you can see yeah so that is essentially how you use this thing now there are other options there are other options if we just go back now we're gonna have a little look at them okay so at this point now I'm gonna assume that you've put my controls in and everything's working for you if you get to the point where you realize the rocket is way too sensitive then maybe you press like maybe one button and it flies in that direction it's too strong for you and you can't get too specific on a target with it then what you want to do is to get into the relative in the relevant one so either it's for pitch or your and then increase or decrease the multiplier so if it's too sensitive decrease the multiplier if it's not sensitive enough so that you know it's just the rocket feels sluggish as you're trying to move it then increase it for yourself and you will see a difference but it's not universal though 
So this one here is for pitch. You got to go back into your and do it for that one as well. But it should be okay. But what I want to say is, if you haven't got this to work and you're here on this video, I would say completely copy my stats right here. Everything that I have in here, the key bindings, just copy them. I'm going to go back into them for you. Copy this exactly. Go into test range and use them. Get familiar with this, and then once everything is working for you, there's no issues, the sensitivity is just right, that's when you go back into it, and if you really are uncomfortable with Alt, A, S, D, W, you know, then just change it to any other keys that you think are more suitable for you. But for now, I would say just put these in. This is so we have like a foundation that works, that we know works with no issues, right? And then, once you know it works, just change it to your own needs, and you'll be good to go. Hey guys, I really hope that you found this video informative and helpful. Yeah, this was something I felt like I needed to do because it's another one of those features where I think it was put in there but just isn't so clear for a lot of people. It's similar to the ballista computer. It's a feature that was added but I believe it didn't actually have a key binding and what I did was I went in there and I simplified it. I put, I binded the computer to the three key just above my WASD and I got the flares to number two. So I've got everything within reach, you know, I can just hold down C with my thumb and the other fingers will control the WASD. And if I want, if I have to pop some flares, I got the flares right there. So, you know, uh, some of these things don't have key bindings and this was something I think was left a bit too vague. There are some tutorials, you know, but even when I followed them, I kind of had a bit of issue with how to work it. Like with this, for the most part, I had to figure it out myself. So I like to think that my my pretty simple approach helped a lot of people out who maybe didn't get the help they needed from other tutorials. You know, I'm just trying to do my bit here, but I really hope that you enjoyed this, found it helpful, and that you can really get back out there and influence some battles with your AGMs. Now, guys, if you found my content very good, um, I am starting up, you know, I've got some other things going on. Uh, feel free to jump by my channel check out my videos you know let me know what you think if there's any issues uh, let, let me know in the comment section below if you like my content be sure to subscribe because you know you'll just get notified when I get more of them out and I'm definitely gonna go full steam ahead with this so um, yeah I've also got twitch that I'm trying to stream regularly there as well so I like to think there's content for everybody and yeah guys I hope you're all staying safe so uh, I'll see you soon